Hi right, guys and gals, this is Bill here, and uh, I thought I'd go ahead and do a little bit of an update and uh, show you what I'm working on and going to finish. Um, first off, I want to say congrats to the three guys that uh, won my drawing, my 200 subscriber drawing, and that was uh, uh, Rusty and Charlie Mack and Al. Uh, I got your picks, guys. Uh, everything's packed up. I just got to get it to the post office and send it off. So uh, those will all be sent off by Friday, okay? So you should be getting them sometimes next week. Now for Al, I don't know, Al. I don't know how long it's going to take to get across Big Pond to you, but it'll be there. It's coming. So, But uh, congrats to you guys again. And then uh, one more thing, too, guys. I'm uh, I'm having some shop cars made up for myself. So uh, anybody that's interested... You know, uh, like to swap some shop cards. I'd be more than welcome to do that uh, so I can get your shop card on my wall. So I thought I'd just mention that, let everybody know about that. And uh, what else? Uh, why don't we get to this Jolly Roger here, guys? This kit by Lindbergh. Um, it's uh, in uh, 1 1 30th scale. Okay. The Jolly Roger Pirate Ship. Uh, what I got done is what you see there in front so far. Um, it's been a, it, so far it hasn't been a bad build, but it's got its problems. I mean, uh, not so much as cleanup, but it's just fit problems, guys. You really got to do some uh, fiddling with it here and there to get everything to come in and fit right. So, but I mean, so far it's working. I think it's looking pretty good. Um, I'm going to go ahead and show you this real quick. This was the instruction sheets for it. Um, pretty thick book. Uh, biggest part of this, guys, when you start getting to the uh, the cells and the rigging and all that stuff. I mean, a uh, lot of, lot of things to do there. But uh, as you can see right here, all these steps I've done, that's one and two. And there's putting the cannons on the top deck, or I'm sorry, the bottom deck. No, that's the top deck. Then uh, there's the other deck, because this was a double decker. And there's steps five and six. Uh, all these steps I've done, guys. There's seven and step eight. Step nine. You can see adding a lot of stuff to it, guys. There's step ten. That's doing that big boat that sits in the center of it there. The rowboat. Oop, oop, oop. There's step 12. Doing a few more things. And then uh, there's step 13. And guys, step 13 was a step you had to really be careful at because you tried to put them uh, hull halves together and uh, get them decks in there. And them decks got them cannons. They stick out a little ways. Um, it worked out pretty good for me. Uh, they went all, I mean, they went together and the cannons slipped right in their little holes, except for one. And I'll show you which one that is, but I'll be able to get to it and fix it. Uh, there's, uh, putting a stand and it stands on at step 14. That's the back of it. And a few different things. Like I said, all these steps I've done already. There's step 12, showing looking down through the hole into the uh, second deck, bottom deck down there. And then there's 22. I keep losing the paper there. There's 23. There's your figurehead there. And 24, 25. All these steps I've done, there's step 26. Step 30. That's 27 and 28. There's some more at step 30. I'm sorry, and there's step 29 down there. It kind of jumped, as you can see. Then it went up here to 30, which that's part of 32. And then it got into the mass, guys. There's mass day. There's... Uh, the second mast. There's the third mast. Step 33. 
And then there's what she looks like with all the mast on her, places you put them. And then right here is where I'm at, guys. This is, uh, I did a few steps here already, but uh, on step 35, that's, that's pretty much as far as I got. As you can see, guys, right there, you know, you're, uh, you got your tie downs and you're running your thread and doing all your roping and your rigging and stuff. This is where it all starts. So, and from there, that's just uh, the cells. There's the cells, which I got them cut out already and painted. And then it's showing how to how you uh, connect the yard arm to them cells. It's all done with thread too, guys. So, I'm just trying to go through this here pretty quick. 39 and 40. There's getting some of your cells in there. Uh, a lot of thread work here, guys. A lot of punching holes into some of these cells. Uh, you know, you got stitchy cells. Especially the ones that ride up and down. And it shows you, it's got good diagrams in here on how to do all that. I mean, you know, so... You pretty much don't get lost. There's step 44. It's uh, the attaching the remaining cells to the proper lines. As you can see, those are the ones that hangs. And, you know, you're still going. I mean, there's a lot of rigging work. And then finally you start getting into uh, doing the anchors and stuff. And 45 and 46 there. Here's 47. I mean, it just goes and goes and goes, guys. So I, I still got quite a bit of work here. This isn't, uh, you know, there's the forward mass showing the cells from behind and the rigging. How that works. There's your middle mast. Shows all that from a back view. And then uh, there's your mizzen mast, your back mast. Shows that one. Still more steps, guys. There's 51. 52, uh, you're putting one of them, uh, one of the flags on there. And then 54. Looks like that's uh, your chains. Some chain parts. More rigging, more, more, uh, Land of ropes, which is the thread and all that stuff. And then uh, here's uh, 55. So that's putting uh, the rat lines and everything, ones that are left. Fifty-six. And, fellas, you get to the end of her finally. There's step 57. That's getting your anchors and tying them down. And shows all that right there, how to hang them. And that's it. So I got a lot of steps left to do. A lot of steps left to do. Here's the cells. I've painted them. Uh, here's some of the bigger ones, guys. I painted them in a linen color. And numbered them in a real light pencil. Let it come right off. Because if I didn't do that, uh, I wouldn't know which was which. I'd have to sit there and figure it out. There's another one. So, tons of cells. 
And this is the only one that's really messed up that bubbled out on me right here a little bit. So I'm going to have to work on that. Get that to come out like it's supposed to be. The rest of them, the rest of them look pretty good. As you can see. And then lots more. Uh, a bunch of the smaller ones here. I mean, a whole lot of them, guys. So, like I said, they've all been painted in a in a uh, a darker uh, fabric color. There, I forgot what color that was. I painted them in, but I think it's gonna look pretty good. And then the parts I got left over, guys. Not a whole lot of parts when you think about it. I mean, uh, I don't know, right lines. Here's some of them right there. Three of them. And then uh, here's the other ones. Three more, so six total of them. Uh, some of the yard arms. There's th three of them total. Here's the other one. And then uh, here's the, uh, this right here is uh, your anchors. You know, I still got to do some painting too. Here's some little chain links. And then uh, here's your tie downs. I painted them in black already. Different sizes, guys. As you can see. And it give you some figures too. Boy, they're really small. Right here. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to use them or not. I probably will. Then just stick a few here and there. So... But that's the figures for it. Um, and then uh, let me get the ship a little bit closer for you. That's what's together so far, guys. You're looking down into the deck and everything. There's your figurehead up there. I painted this kind in my own scheme, too. I was talking about that cannon that didn't come through, guys. It's right there. This one right here. As you can see, I'm going to have to work to get that cannon through. So those were kind of a pain when you put them two holes together. But eventually it worked out. Um, see down in there. But that's what she looks like so far. I think it's looking okay for my own color scheme, you know. But uh, take it to the back of it. I still got to do some paint work in here, guys. So that's actually what I'm going to be doing next. And along the side here. Still got to do a little paint work in here. Uh, I built this base that went on. It's just a nice wooden base. Uh, I think it went on there pretty good. And actually it says the Jolly Roger down there. That was part of the kit. This right here, all this, just this wooden base down here is what I'm adding to it. So, and uh, there's your crow's nest. But uh, that's pretty much it. I'm going to go ahead and lay that back back there. And that's what I'm going to finish up, guys. That's what I'm working on finishing up. I'll do another video on it here. Oh, when I'm close to being done, then I'll do a final on it. So uh, it shouldn't take me much longer. Uh, like I said, the, the it's not hard, the rigging and everything. It's not a hard thing to do. It's just a long process. So, and, you know, to do it right and make it look right. But uh, I believe that's it. And I'm going to go ahead and sign this video off, guys. It's been too long as it is. So take care, and uh, I'll see you on the next video. Uh, like I said, I'm getting that shop card made up. 
anybody wants one I drop my email a lot so just email me and say yeah you'd like to trade or send me one or whatever if you send me one now that's fine you know I'll I'll write you down and you'll get one as soon as I get my shop cards in so you won't have to worry about that you'll be getting a shop card uh, other than that that's it guys I'm gonna go ahead and sign off take care God bless and we'll see you at the next video bye bye